All right, so let's take a look at the difference quotient. We want to find the difference quotient and simplify it. So this is the difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x, all that divided by h. Okay, so let's do some examples. All right, so find and simplify the difference quotient. All right, so let's write down the difference quotient. So we have f of x plus h minus f of x, all of that divided by h. All right, so first let's do f of x plus h. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the x plus h and we're going to plug it into this function here for x. All right, so we have 6 times x and in the place of x we're going to put x plus h plus 1. Okay, and then minus f of x. Well, what's f of x? Well, f of x is 6x plus 1. Now, the thing that's important here is you see how I put minus the 6x plus 1? You have to make sure that this is in parentheses because it's minus this whole thing. Okay, so, so look what we have here. This is f of x plus h, and this is f of x. So there's our f of x plus h, which is this, minus f of x, which is this, 6x plus 1. Okay? And then all of that is over h. Now, the thing that we were trying to do here is when we simplify this, we want to get this h out of the denominator. Okay, So let's go ahead and see what we can do with the numerator. So I'm going to distribute the 6 and then I'm going to distribute this negative 1 here. So that's going to be 6x plus 6h plus 1 minus, now I'm going to distribute the minus, minus 6x minus 1 and all that over h. So you can see here the 6x's cancel out and the 1's cancel. So I'm left with 6h over h and the h's cancel and I'm left with 6. Alright, so let's take a look at another example. Alright, so same thing here. Find and simplify the difference quotient. So let's write down the difference quotient. That's f of x plus h minus f of x, all that divided by h. Alright, so the f of x plus h, I'm going to get that first. So in the place of x, I'm going to put x plus h. Okay, all the x's get replaced with x plus h. So that's x squared, but in the place of x, I'm putting x plus h, and that's squared, minus 5 times x, and in the place of x, I'm putting x plus h, and then plus 8, minus f of x. Well, what's f of x? That's x squared minus 5x plus h. x squared minus 5x plus 8. And remember, this needs to be in parentheses over h. Alright, so, so look at this. This is my f of x plus h. Okay, there's that minus, and there's my minus, f of x, and this is f of x. Alright, so let's go ahead and simplify this numerator here. So I've got x plus h squared, so that's x squared, and that's going to equal x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, 
Okay, that's this. Remember, remember this is x plus h times x plus h. And I fold it out and I get this. Okay, now let's distribute the minus 5. So minus 5x minus 5h plus 8. Okay, so that takes care of this part. All right, now let's distribute the minus, the minus 1. Remember, that's, that's like a minus 1 in front. So that's minus x squared plus 5x minus 8, and that's all over h. All right, so let's see what happens here. All right, so you can see the x squareds go out. And let's see, the minus 5x and the plus 5x go out and the plus 8 and the minus 8 go out. So I am left with 2xh plus h squared minus 5h, all of that over h. And remember, we want to get rid of the h in the denominator. So you can see here, I can factor out an h. So I have h times 2x plus h minus 5. That's when I factor the h out over h. And the h's cancel. And I'm left with 2x plus h minus 5. And there's my answer. All right, so let's take a look at one, one more. All right, so let's do the same thing. So I've got f of x plus h minus f of x, all that over h. All right, so f of x plus h, I'm going to take the x plus h, put it in for x. So that's the square root of x, but remember, in the place of x, I'm going to put x plus h minus f of x. Well, what's f of x? That's the square root of x, and that's all over h. All right, so here's my f of x plus h. That's this. Minus, and there's my minus, f of x. And this is f of x. Oop. That's f of x. All right, now I've got to simplify this. Remember, we want to get the h out of the denominator. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rationalize the numerator. You probably remember this when you were simplifying radicals, except the difference was you had this part of it would have been in the denominator. We, we rationalize the denominator. But here we're going to rationalize the numerator. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. Remember, you change the sign in the middle. So I'm going to multiply it by the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. Okay, Square root of x plus h plus square root of x. All right, so I have the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x times the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x all over h times the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. All right. So now we need to multiply this out. Well, this, you see this numerator here? That's in the form of a minus b times a plus b. Remember that? a minus b times a plus b, which that is a squared minus b squared. So it would just be this squared minus this squared. Okay. All right, so that's going to give us the square root of x plus h squared minus the square root of x squared over 
h times the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. Okay, And you, you don't want to distribute the h because we're going to end up canceling that h when we simplify this numerator here. Alright, so remember whenever you square a square root you just get what's underneath the square root. So when I square this I just get x plus h minus and then I square the square root of x and that's just x over h times the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. And then you can see here the x's cancel so I'm left with h over h times the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. And you can see my h's cancel and I'm left with 1 over the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. And this would be my answer. Alright, so hopefully this video helped you. Uh, if you like the video, you can watch my other ones. Alright, thanks.